Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am at one of my favorite restaurants, St. Cecilia, with Chef James, with the awesome eyes, guys. <laughs> and he's gonna show me the proper way to cut up these wonderful, yummy, yummy veggies. You know, I'm a mom, I'm a mom on the go, and you know, sometimes you just gotta get in there and get with it, and I'm trying to get like him when I grow up. So, <laughs> can you show me some pointers? Yeah, I'll give you so a couple awesome. pointers. Awesome. Um, of course, wash your, wash your veggies first. Um, then when we go to uh, cut our vegetable, mm -hmm. we'll, uh, I like to start with cutting a flat edge yeah. so it's easier to stand. Okay, and then, um, I don't do that, so this is good. Safer, safer for everybody. Oh, yeah. So then you're going to want to slice it through in whatever shape you, or thickness you want. Okay. Then you cut through the top there. And this is gonna make your dice. Yep, and then, um, so this would uh, be your size. We would call this like a julienne. Okay. okay. In the uh, professional terms. And that's your dices right there. Okay. A couple missed ones in there, oh, no, but that's fine. all right. Oh, that's perfection, guys. Perfection. <laughs> I do not want to go after that, but let's try. Let's try. Chopping with Mo. <laughs> all right, so he said to. Make your flat edge first. Make my flat edge, guys. Ooh, this knife is superb. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay, kind of little yeah, little, 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 little. But you know what? I got this. Yeah, you're. Get it. Ah, I got it right off. There okay. you go. Woo, woo. Get over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this part, I cannot. Okay, it's like this, right? Yep. This so. There you go. And next time, you guys are gonna follow me to. The nail salon because I'm so busy I haven't had time to get a manicure so okay. don't talk about me too much. Okay, this one, how did this go? Uh, so kind of okay. towards you. Okay. Let's see what I can. I like to go like this. Ah, I knew that. So it looks towards you. Oh. But you're right handed. I am so. right handed. Okay, so I got it, I got it, I got it. It's okay. There you go. Is that it? Yep. Is that it guys? Are we doing it right? Eh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I should go down some, right? I was just cutting at the surface. Yeah. Okay, so hold on. Okay, I think I got there it. You go James. Down uh -oh. all the way. Okay, and then from here, guys, do you see that? Precision. Precision. Do I go further or? Yeah. Ah, I'm like a perfectionist too. Uh oh, oh, uh -oh y'all see that? Even better. Ah. <laughs> uh oh. It's kind of like on the outside. You probably go like super fast and like. I cut a lot of this. Oh, of course. Okay. Look at his guys and look at mine. Sure. I mean, nice. you know. It's uniform. Okay. All right. <laughs> Move it along. <laughs> Move it along. And cucumbers are like one of my favorites. I love cucumbers so. too. Yeah. One of my favorites. Here, we'll put it all in the okay, bin perfect. here. Okay. Perfect. So this is called the Treviso. It's in the like radicchio chicory family. It's a nice mixture to any salad you do because it's like bitter and. Yeah. Sort of sour and taste differently. Okay. But again, same concept as um, when you are doing uh, dicing a cucumber. I like to do the same thing. I take it down half there, ah. and then. So you want to? There's this root in right here, right? Yes, I see it. You want to make sure that you don't cut that, or it'll fall off. Mm. So if you do it just before the root in, it'll stay together for when you. Uh, go to dice whatever size you would like your treviso to be. Treviso, okay. Have you had that before? I have had it, had no idea what it was. <laughs> um, now I know. Yep. Learning with Mo, there you go. And what's the proper knife? Because I know some people, not me, will get like just above a butter knife and try to like cut into things. So no, it's not what you're supposed to do. So, so what would you recommend? Well, I really like this guy. This is a, it's a Mac, that's the brand. Um, okay. They call this a Santoku with this rounded tip like this. Okay. Um, I find it really easy for like a home kitchen. It's yeah. really light, it stays sharp for a long time. Yeah, I love and, it. Yeah, it's easier to use than a big long. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I yeah, for sure. Yeah. I could or could not have that in my kitchen. I'm not <laughs> gonna tell you. Okay, here goes nothing. Um, let's see. Get you over there, yeah, we'll move. put it there so. Okay, yes, and all I remember is <laughs> <laughs> Yep, so just don't go past the core. Right. So there you go. That's enough right. room all the way down. 
Ah, oh yeah. There you okay, go. Okay, and this one? Yeah, like so? Yep. Okay, do we... Is there one over here? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's do it. On the edge there, let's I like that. Let's go for it. Yeah, okay. Just take her over the air. <laughs> All right, and then get to dice it, correct? Yep. And don't dice yeah. my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would never be good. No. Don't do this while kids are calling, Mommy, Mommy, what's mm. going on? Yeah, not, not now. Okay, and... <laughs> that looks good, more. that looks comparable, ah, that's see? the same. Okay. See, you're getting it, second thing and you're on. Chef Magneta. <laughs> awesome. Next title. All right. A little tip, okay. I, like, I like to keep my cutting board off the edge ah. a little bit so it's just easier to clean Ooh. up so you can put your object underneath. Okay, guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like Little tidbits. Yeah, a little bit. To the food game. Yeah. All right, <laughs> celery. We'll talk about mm. celery. So I like to just go ahead, take the road off. Okay. This will we'll cut this on a bias here. So okay. you want to like put it in a salad or anything like that, mm -hmm. real thin. So on the bias just means um, cutting it at an angle. Okay. So I like to start right here with your. They call it the claw. Okay. Have your edge started there, and then you can just slice real nice and thin. Wow. Uh, then you're showing off to everybody. Uh, oh yeah, if I can do that. You can pull that off. Yeah. You're the highlight. <laughs> About that, guys. I don't know. It's kind of a show off right now, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so let's just start with another one. Yep. Right? Oh gosh. I didn't just forget everything you taught me. I didn't. <laughs> but this looks like it's supposed to be off. Yep. Am I correct? You're ah, correct. I listen. Just joshing. <laughs> okay. And then from the angle, is it this angle or the other? Uh, yeah. Um, does it matter? It doesn't really matter. You can kind of do it away from you okay. or close to you, but you can start at the end there. And then in the claw. Ah. Yeah, claw, pinching. Oh gosh. Okay. Go. Just make sure you go all the way down. Gosh, you probably can do this super fast. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hold on. I, I like it. It's looking a little like yours. Yeah. Okay. I'm like putting my claw way far back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm getting the hang See? of this. Oh Don't my doubt goodness. Yourself. Because before, my celery did or did not look like this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Progress. I love it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I have the proper way to dice my veggies for the perfect salad, snack, or whatever. Thanks to Chef James. I appreciate it. Tune in next time. Where can we find you, Chef James? You can find me at St. Cecilia. Yeah, yeah. He'll be there. Are you on social media? Uh, just a little bit. Okay, okay. Just yeah, and he's private, so don't try to contact him. You know, it's not a hookup channel. It's not like, you know, date a dating app or anything. So, but if you're looking, he'll be here. St. Cecilia. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you next time.